I therefore declare Boris Johnson to be elected as the Mayor of London. Thank you very, very much, everybody. And may the fourth be with you. Thank you. Boris Johnson, the Mayor of London, with the Olympic flag. Six thousand six hundred and fifty six Boris Johnson, ninety two thousand one hundred and fifty three. And therefore, I give notice that Boris Johnson is elected as the leader of the Conservative and Unionist Party. I have just been to see Her Majesty the Queen, who has invited me to form a government, and I have accepted. Afternoon. This, this morning I, I went to Buckingham Palace and I am forming a new government and on Monday MPs will arrive at Westminster to form a new parliament and I'm proud to say that members of our new One Nation government, a people's government, will set out from constituencies that have never returned a Conservative MP for a hundred years. And yes, they will have an overwhelming mandate from this election to get Brexit done, and we will honour that mandate by January the 31st. The time has now come for us all to do more. From this evening, I must give the British people a very simple instruction. You must stay at home. Hi folks, quick update from me on the campaign against coronavirus. First of all, in my own case, uh, although I'm feeling better and I've done my, my seven days of isolation, alas, I still have uh, one of the symptoms, a minor symptom of, I, have a, I still have a temperature. And so in accordance with government advice, I must continue uh, my self-isolation until uh, that symptom itself goes. But These benches, I spent weeks and months defending the Prime Minister uh, against often angry constituents. I reminded them of his success in delivering Brexit and on the vaccine and many other things. But I expect my leaders to shoulder the responsibility for the actions they take. Yesterday, he did the opposite of that. So I'll remind him of a quotation 
altogether too familiar to him, of Leo Amory to Neville Chamberlain. You have sat there too long for all the good you have done. In the name of God, go. Uh, today, I've received a fixed penalty notice from the Metropolitan Police relating to an event in Downing Street on the 19th of June 2020. And let me say immediately that I've paid the fine and I once again offer a full apology. And amongst all these engagements on a day that happened to be my birthday, there was a brief gathering in the Cabinet Room shortly after 2pm, lasting for less than 10 minutes during which people I work with kindly passed on uh, their good wishes. And I have to say, in all frankness, at that time, it did not occur to me uh, that this might have been a breach of the rules. Remont is a watch. Yes, Remont is a watch. You know, Remont the watch, yes. Hello, how are you doing? Я радий, я такий радий вас бачити. Я люблю Британію. Вона рятувала нас. Я мої діти, мої внуки. It is clearly now the will of the Parliamentary Conservative Party that there should be a new leader of that party and therefore a new Prime Minister. And I've agreed with Sir Graham Brady, the Chairman of our backbench MPs, that the process of choosing that new leader should begin now. And the timetable will be announced next week. And I've today appointed a Cabinet to serve, as I will, until a new leader is in place. I know that there will be many people who are relieved and uh, perhaps quite a few who will also be disappointed. And I want you to know how sad I am to be giving up the best job in the world. But them's the breaks. I want to thank Carrie and our children, and all the members of my family who have had to put up with so much for so long. Being Prime Minister is an education in itself. I've travelled to every part of the United Kingdom and in addition to the beauty of our natural world, I've found so many people possessed of such boundless British originality and so willing to tackle old problems in new ways that I know that even if things can sometimes seem dark now, our future together is golden. Thank you all very much. Thank you.